Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me as we look at PPC, or point, point, circle, the, the Apollonian problem of how do we draw circles that are run through these two points and are tangent to this given circle. That's our challenge today, and that's what we're going to do. And, of course, we're going to try and do it using things that we can only do with the straight edge and compass. But uh, we'll be making use of the, the GeoGebra tools, like perpendicular to line, which I've shown you guys in the past can be constructed just using straight edge and compass. Okay. So here's our challenge, point, point, circle. And right off the bat, I'm just going to make a note. If the two points are separated by the circle, just like the case where the two points were separated by a line, we're not going to get any solutions. So we're going to assume that the general situation is we've got two points and they both lie outside of the circle. Okay. Um, what are, what are we to do here? And I, by the way, this is a reasonable assumption because once you've chosen the circle, it's a finite area, infinite area out here. Of course, uh, you're going to get the probability is nearly one that your chosen points are going to lie outside the circle. Anyway, what are we to do? Well, the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to, uh, uh, we, we need our, our circle to, to go through these two points. Well, any circle that goes through these two points We'll have to have its center lie on the perpendicular bisector of these two points. I think I mentioned this in one of the, the past videos. But anytime I choose a point on here, I can draw a circle and it's going to go through those two points. Okay. So that means that the, the center or centers, because there's going to be more than one, of our solutions will have to lie on this line. So it's a good line to have around. So what we're going to do, uh, similar to our, our point line line case, we're just going to start with an arbitrary circle that happens to go through these two points. We just need any old circle, but we also need it to be big enough, but not too big, but we need it to, to intersect our chosen circle here. So depending on how far away it is, I'd draw this one bigger, but not so big as it completely misses it, that sort of thing. Okay. So we get uh, two intersection points here. All right. And uh, we're going to draw some lines. So the line through our two points and the line through these two intersection points will intersect. There we go. And uh, now from this point, and we're going to clean things up a little bit. From this point, we are going to intersect, or sorry, not intersect, but we are going to draw tangents to uh, our given circle. And I've shown you guys in a, a compass and straight edge construction video how to actually do that step by step. GeoGebra already has a tool for that. Where is it? Tangents, there it is. Okay. So we're just using the GeoGebra tools to speed things along. I don't want to make these videos super, super, super long. Okay. So there we go. We got a, we have our tangent points here. And uh, it's these points of tangency that are going to give the points of tangency to the, uh, so, uh, for, to the circle for our solutions. Okay. So you can either, you know, go back and take a look at the point, point, point constructions uh, how, and, and go from there. We'll, we'll do one of the circles that way. Circle through three points. So using point, point, point. There we go. Or you could say, well, gee, this, uh, this point here has got to connect up to the center. The center has to lie on this line. So how about I draw a perpendicular line to this line through this point, and that should get me the center I so sorely crave. And uh, no, actually, I've, I've goofed. What is it that I need to do? Oh, right, right, right. So um, I, I made a mistake. I put my perpendicular line in the wrong place. Uh, let's get the tangents back. Tangent to the circle through this point. There we go. It's perpendicular to this tangent line, not not the this line. I'd already erased my other tangent, or my my other yeah my tangent. So the 
I made a mistake there. Anyway, there we go. That's a little better. I was wondering why the, the center was so far away from these two points, but there we go. And that will be the center, and then there we go. We get our solutions that way, and that's perfectly acceptable as well. Okay. So there is, in general, our two points and a circle construction. And we can move all these around. Okay. And we get, in general, two solutions. So that's a point-point circle. It's a nice little one to, to have in your back pocket. Join me for more solutions to Apollonian problems in the next video. I will see you guys there. Thank you, as always, for watching, and have a wonderful day.